just a gunshot, just a big loud gunshot. A bang that startled many people in this rural Ohio town. That one shot was followed by several more. It's what it sounded like to me now that he just went down the uh, road here. Bang, 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 bang. And it, of course it scares you to death when you hear something like that. One of those shots killed Village Police Chief Stephen Eric Desario, a father of five with another on the way. He had been on the job just three weeks. Oh, that's horrible. I just met him last Friday. I got my first Kirkersville speeding ticket and that's who pulled me over. He was very, very nice. I was really hoping that wasn't him. Investigators with the Licking County Sheriff's Office and the Bureau of Criminal Investigation say the gunman parked his car at a truck stop about a mile away. On his way to Main Street in Kirkersville, he took two people hostage. I, I believe the uh, the hostages just happened by and um, so he, he kind of took control of them so that they wouldn't blow the fact or, or expose the fact that he was there. Chief Desario got dispatched to a man with a gun, and as he approached the gunman, Desario was shot and killed. Once the shot was uh, fired at the chief, the, the two hostages simply took off, took off running. Investigators say the suspect then entered the Pine Kirk Care Center, where he killed two more people, both women who worked there. The gunman was also killed. Investigators won't say whether he took his own life or if someone shot him. 23 patients inside were not injured. I can't, I can't believe it. I mean, I, I really cannot believe it. This stuff don't happen here. Now, investigators have not yet released the gunman's name. They're only saying he lives in Utica, which is about 26 miles north of here. They're also not saying at this point if he had any connection to anyone inside the nursing home. One thing, guys, I want to point out, take a look at that building with the blue front. That's the police department. It's just a stone's throw away from the crime scene. Reporting live tonight in Licking County, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.